What if I told you that Fiverr's new update could make or break your freelancing career? In today's video, we're gonna talk about how the newest update on Fiverr is gonna destroy a lot of sellers. With the latest update, buyers can now review cancelled orders. Yeah, you heard that right. Imagine that you work extremely hard for this order and the order gets cancelled. And boom! Fiverr made such a bold move with this latest update on the cancellations and I haven't seen anything like this for almost 7 years being on the platform. Wait till the end of this video and you'll find out how you can turn this update to your advantage. I see so many sellers focusing on the wrong aspects of this update. If you are struggling to get more orders or you just want to increase the number of orders you have, you need to know everything about this update because it's crucial if you want to succeed and make more money on Fiverr. Before diving into this drama and learning everything that you need to know, let me quickly explain all the different ways you can cancel an order on Fiverr. By the end of this video, you're gonna know everything that you need to handle the cancellations like a pro. So there are three major ways that an order can be canceled. This is where most people make mistakes, so make sure to pay close attention. The first way is seller requested cancellations. This is when the sellers request cancellation through the resolution center. If they request a cancellation, the buyers have 48 hours to respond. If they don't respond to it, the order will be automatically cancelled. The next is mutual cancellations. This is either the buyer or the seller requests a cancellation and the other side accepts it. And the third one is forced cancellation. This can be done only by the buyer and they can cancel the orders if they didn't submit the requirements without affecting the seller's statistics. The other way to have a forced cancellation is to have your delivery being late for more than 24 hours. So before the latest update, we as a sellers were allowed to cancel orders anytime we wanted. For example, if buyers weren't happy with the final delivery, we could just cancel the order and leave with peace. Also, if there is a long project and something in the scope was changed, we could cancel the order without any problems at all. Let me remind you, you're only one order away from changing your life because you can earn hundreds of thousands of dollars once clients come floating in. So listen carefully and take this to your advantage. The problem with the new update is that the buyers can now receive reviews even on cancelled orders if they meet a certain criteria. For example, reviews can be left when an order becomes late. Let's say that you have an order and you have a two-day delivery time. If the order becomes late, even with one minute, the buyers will be able to leave a review even if you cancel the order for whatever reason. There is also another super important point. If the seller doesn't respond to the buyer's inquiries or requests for over 48 hours, the buyers can now leave a review. Let me explain. This means that when you have an active order and the buyer has asked you about something in the order chat, you must answer to them in the next 24 hours or the order will be eligible for review. So make sure to answer immediately to the buyers. And finally, and most important criterion is the delivery. If the seller has provided a delivery to the buyer with the intent to complete the order, but the order got cancelled, this means that anytime you hit that deliver button, the order will be eligible for a review. If any of those that I explained happens, the buyers will have 5 days to leave a review. And you can also answer to this publicly. So for example, if they have written a bad review, you can defend yourself. However, there are some scenarios where reviews on cancelled orders are not allowed. For example, if someone is purchasing on Fiverr for the first time, this means that they are a new buyer on the platform, they are not able to leave a review. Buyers who also have a seller account on Fiverr are also excluded from leaving public reviews. This applies mainly to us, the seller. Orders that were cancelled due to a chargeback or if there is any violation of the platform's terms of service also can't have reviews. But, 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 before we make any conclusions and start hating Fiverr, we need to understand why this change is necessary and how we can use this feature to our advantage and make more money of course. In my opinion, the primary motivation behind this change is to retain buyers on the platform because if the buyers have a negative experience, 
This often drives them away, which harms the platform's overall business and reputation. This will happen because this change will filter out the sellers who vanish during an order, who are very late, and who falsely represent their skills. This will make the platform much more credible. Another super important thing, in my opinion, is the review saturation. Let me explain. The new system aims to hold the practice of review sanitizing where sellers cancel orders to maintain a five-star average review. Let's be honest, on Fiverr, the majority of the sellers have five or 4.9 rating, which makes this whole waiting process by reviews a waste of time and without a point. Think about it for a second. If everyone has 5 star ratings, what is the point of having a rating system at all? I can't finish this video before saying the cons. The main one is the potential for unfair reviews. The sellers might receive negative review even if a cancellation was not because of their fault. And this could impact our reputation. Imagine that you've worked so hard on this order and in the end the buyer decides to cancel because they just don't like the work. They can now cancel the entire order and even leave you a review. What if the buyer didn't read the requirements properly? It's their mistake. Everyone has an opinion about it. I used to hate when Fiverr makes a change. But now, when they make a change, I know that we're on the same page. And when we make money, Fiverr also makes money. We share a common goal. And since they've decided to make this change, I believe it's gonna work out well for us in the end. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I think about this change and how I'm preparing for it. First of all, I will try to vet my buyers better than before. It's crucial to understand the buyer's needs and expectation before starting the project. This means that I will speak to them more and more before sending them a custom offer. And I will try to ensure that we are on the same page regarding the whole process. So I will basically try to maximize these cancellations in the first place. And the second thing that I'm going to do is I will focus on delivering a very, very high quality work. And when I say high quality, I mean that I will try to meet the buyer's expectations and I will try to be even better with my communication because I know that the communication is the most important factor when the clients leave you a review or they continue to work with you in the end. And let me tell you, now it's the easiest time to grow on Fiverr with the new AI services that come into play and the new update that will filter out many of the sellers who are not good at what they do. I hope you like this video and I need you to smash that subscribe button and support my channel this way. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing your comments below so we can have a communication and discussion about it. Tell me what kind of videos do you want to see on this channel and I will try to make them happen. Thank you guys and see you soon.